Good day, race fans! I'm on Silent and we're on the air with another classic racing game. This time, it's Daytona USA! Yes, from 1993, the arcade racing game that everybody knows and loves. And since the Daytona 500 is this weekend, I figured, well, there's no better time than now for us to go and do a little Daytona. So let's go away to Daytona, USA for the Daytona, well, whatever you want to call it, the Daytona, USA arcade game. So we'll select the course. I think we're going to start with beginner. We're going to go through all three, of course. Thank you, Mr. Voiceover guy. And I'm thinking, let's start with the automatic. You know, it's amazing what you can do with video games and computers nowadays. You can play arcade games on them now. You know, I... We never had an arcade. I, I you know, I, I think I've mentioned I... Come from a small town. I grew up in a small town. We didn't have an arcade. The closest thing we had into an arcade was when they expanded our uh, movie theater and Cineplex took it over. And even then, we didn't have much in the way... We didn't have an... It wasn't even big enough to fit, like... Whoop, that did not go well. It didn't, wasn't even big enough to fit an arcade unit of Daytona USA into the damn thing. Although a Daytona USA arcade unit, I was watching a Digital Foundry video about Daytona USA and how advanced it was for 1993, and we'll go into that in a little bit. But apparently, like, one of these arcade units was worth, like, $15,000 or something to that effect. Of course, everyone knows the... Oh, they're all spinning in front of me. Expect a lot of that in the actual Daytona 500. Get that thing sideways, hang the ass out of it, and... Unfortunately... Does not particularly care for the Xbox One controller. Which is a shame, makes driving it just a little difficult. But we're doing okay-ish. I would like to win this race, though. I don't think I'm going to do it on this run, because we lost too much time in the first two laps. Yeah, but we're making it up. As soon as we beat and bang our way through these guys. It's called Daytona, but this is more akin to Pocono than it is... ...than it is to Daytona, as we just barely navigate our way through there. But I was saying, we never had an arcade in my, my hometown growing up. But we would occasionally, as family, go on vacation to Niagara Falls. And in under a tower they have in Niagara Falls, the Skylon Tower, I don't know if it's still called that, I assume it's still there, that they had an, a giant arcade, this magnificent and massive arcade underneath it. And one of the things was an eight set of Daytona USA. So, I mean, you think about it, if it was $15,000, according to Digital Foundry, for one unit of Daytona USA, then that was $120,000 worth of Daytona USA for you and seven of your friends to go racing on, if you can manage to complete all eight laps. Are we going to be able to do that just? Oh no, we've spun it! We're going to just have enough time to cross the line. P8. I know for a fact. I might have seen the finish line once in the all the times I played Daytona USA in Niagara Falls. Now, list your name with the other champion. Well, my name is Unsilent, so you, N, and S. U, N, N. Oh, no, I've got to hit that. Before it says the name. Then we go back to the... We go back to the main menu, yes. So, it says 1994 on the copyright there. It was originally released in limited release in 93. Full release in 94. And then in 96, as Daytona USA Deluxe, it managed to make its way to both Windows PC, which I could not get working for the life of me, or on the Sega Saturn. Let's go back into it. We'll go to the... Let's go to the advanced one this time. Advanced. 
Also, my research in this. Now, it's not quite the same, but this intermediate track does share a lot of similarities with the track from Virtua Racer, which preceded Daytona USA as an arcade racing game out of so Sega's stable. But the difference, big difference between that and this, well, one, this has texture filtering, which doesn't seem like such a big deal, but it is pretty cool and helps make it look so good and helps keep it looking so good. You know, what are we, 15, no, 25 years after it came out. My God, my math nearly failed me. Oh, no, that did not go particularly well. It tried to carry a little too much speed through the left and bollocksed it through the right. I think it'll understeer through the uphill. Always a, cars understeer through the uphill. 140 was just enough to hold on through there. Now, I have no idea. 160? Uh, it's 130 because I keep running into the back of the 23. By the way, we are the base model number 41, which is now Kurt Busch's number. Now, I'm assuming Kurt Busch is 41 because it fits with the rest of the numbers in the... Is he still in the 41? I can't remember if he got re-signed to the 41 or not because he was out of contract at the end of the last season, was he not? Shows how much I paid to na attention to NASCAR. Oh, well, he just held on to that one at 170. No, no, there. that didn't go so well. But we're on P10. Oh, there's only 20 cars. It's not as impressive as, like, oh, we're P10 out of, you know, 40 cars. It's this time it's P10 out of 20 cars. My crew chief is screaming at me to just tell me to slow down. God damn Oh, crap. Now we've got two laps to go, and I'm not sure if we're going to have enough time to make it through, but I guess there's only one way to find out. But the... Yeah, so it has texture filtering, and unlike Virtua Racer, this game, Daytona USA, runs at 60 frames per second. That's why you can get this game, this video, sorry. Rather, I'm running it at... Oh, just made it through there. Almost ran a little too... Oh, he's squeezing me out. And I just held on to it. Uh, that's why I'm running the game. That's why you can get this video. It's my first video at... 60 FPS and 1080p, so... Just a little added bonus just to go with the fancy... Fancy 25-year-old game. Not sure we're going to have enough time to make it through here. Apparently I'm running a good race according to my crew chief, though. But we're trying to... Xbox One controller is a little twitchy. I think I mentioned that already. If I nail everything perfectly, I just might be able to make it on the time I have left. Just. There. Ah, oh. uh, actually, on second thought, not enough time. Uh, even if I hadn't bollocks that up, I wasn't gonna have enough time to make it to the finish line. Oh well, it was a good attempt, a valiant effort. But I'm just lacking. I was lacking a little speed. You placed eleventh. And we get the game over sound. They're friendly folks, aren't they? Yeah, so I mentioned there was the Sega Saturn version of this game. Let's go to the expert. expert. And we'll again go to the automatic. While the arcade version ran at... Outstanding start. Oh, 30 in this. 30 cars in this one. Why 30 in this, not in the other one? While there were... A, while this game runs at 60 FPS here on Arcade, it only ran at 20 on the Sega Saturn. It didn't have the texture filtering. It didn't have the ability to run the graphics the same way it did here. Man, that guy is blocking the treat. 
Oh, track and pick road. Oh, we're going to... Oh, I missed that turn by a mile. Well, we made it through there in one piece-ish. This is a tricky, tricky track. The big problem is... Oh, I, I've bollocked up the car. You can see the ass end of it is bouncing around. Man, I'm no good at the... The problem is, is you're, you've got one eye on your position. You've got one eye on the time left. And you're trying to go as quickly as you can. I can see how this thing ate so many quarters back in the day. I forget how much it was in Niagara Falls. I wanted to say, like, the first time I went there, it was like, you know, it was a dollar. You know, you had to put four quarters into it in order to play. And if you're a young kid like me who's never driven a car before, you know, it's quite difficult. Like, even just on the beginner Daytona truck, you know, the Oval. Even then, it was quite difficult to try and figure it out when you're only there, you know, like once in a blue moon, right? To try and learn how to drive the car when you've never driven a car before. And you're against... Oh, that closes... No notice, but that thing clo that is a very much a closing turn. Yeah, it's difficult to learn how to drive the car and how to drive the track. That went well. I think I might have actually even made up a little time on the cars in front. But I'm only going to complete the one lap. Am I even going to complete the one lap? Just... And this lap, this this one didn't go so particularly well. Like I said, you're learning the turn, you're learning the track at the same time. That you're trying to, you know, figure out how the car's handling. Oh, that was a that was a wreck. I think we're about to get eliminated at that one. Now, in the emulator, they do at least have, they are kind enough to make sure to give you a cheat so you can... Oh, we got a time extension to turn off the... Whatchamahoosit? The uh, thingamajig, the, the uh, timer, so you can have... So, you know, you have the checkpoints, but they don't really, you know, have an impact on the gameplay. Man, we're just scraping... Bye. Oh, keep it back. In. Well, that almost went well. While we're hanging out back. There's nothing left of my car. Like, I have this monumental dent in the roof. I don't remember landing on my roof. Am I just going to make this one? We are literally just fast enough to keep going. We should have been done ages ago. I don't think we're going to make it to the checker flag. I don't know where the next checkpoint is. It doesn't tell you on the mini-map. No, 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 that is right there. You place 20 second. Try not to sound so damn disappointed, video game. That could have gone a lot better, but... Let us... Alright, let, let us... We're gonna do beginner. But we're gonna win at one. So I'm gonna say, let's go automatic transmission this time. Gentlemen, start your engine. Did I did I say automatic and mean to say manual? Oh, put it into put it into H. There we go. Now, lights out. And I've already driven off the track at the first turn. That's not brilliant. That's gonna cost me a lot of time. But the key is just being smooth as we go past Rusty Wallace. And we'll go by these guys into P31 now. It's a nice thing if they give you manual. I, I I remember going back there once when I was when I actually had my driver's license. Oh right, I remember. I remember it was when I was in university, like after exams. 
Like, after exams in the winter, we went there as a family. Last family vacation we ever did, I think. And so, I had actually, you know, driven a car by then. And played racing sims and whatnot. And I had actually played it with the, uh... That might have been the one time I actually completed a race in Daytona, USA. As I played it with the manual transmission as well. Although, I didn't realize that I actually had that you can actually do the draft. Watch the speed go up. 208? Well, we... Because we did have... Like, it did say at the start, I think it was... Your max speed was 201 with the manual transmission as a bonus for using the manual transmission. It gives you a higher top speed with 210 into turn one. Excuse me. We'll slide in behind. Oh, no. That was... I was trying very hard to hold that one. Well, we still set a fast lap. And you just... You, you think about braking there. But also, going into turn three, notice... Whoop. Notice how there's a Sonic there. Oh, and we managed to set another fast lap. We're climbing our way through the field, P6. We could get a top five. We, oh, first place is ahead of us somewhere here, right? Now, I think everybody in front of us is basically battling for the win. So this actually could be a hell of a finish here. We've got enough time. Oh, that... Oh, I've bollocked up shifting and I've cost myself the race. That's a shame. Well, that's all we're going to manage is eighth. Damn. I cost myself the race there. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't tell me we reached the goal. I cost... No. Don't congratulate me for nothing. All right. One more go at that one. We're going to do this one. We're going to win this. We're in fourth. We'll be fine. I like how the, the AI can hang at uh, 185 around the outside of turn three. And it's just like, I struggle to hold on to it at 170. Careful, you'll melt the tires. Screw my tires. We're going to the front. It's, it's like you should have put the special tires like Days of Thunder. Well, that first lap was better than our first lap the last time out, so. Hold on to it through turn two. Down the back straight, 210. It is very difficult to hold on to it. It's very twitchy. I think I keep saying that. It's very twitchy. With the controller. As opposed to the actual steering wheel. But it's only really noticeable here on the back straight. 210. It seems to be maxing out at 210. Ah. That's it. GG. That one's toast. Let's give it another try. Two, one, light out, and away we go. And that car wants to get the arse end out, to earn it. Oh boy, that, that car wants to slide up and into the wall there. Not gonna see that at the 500. Well, let's just kind of get around those guys. Beat and bang and... You know, it's funny though. I talk about seeing this a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. It was probably over 10 years ago. In Niagara Falls. Still, the same cabinet. And Sega had released Daytona USA 2. In the mid-90s. Which had, you know, some graphical updates. It was on the Sega Model 3 arcade cabinet. This is on the Sega Model 2 arcade cabinet. I'm not going easy on the car, Mr. Crew Chief. Oh, man, we got bungled up in with all those bastards, and now we're going to lose again. Oh, there we go. We got banged up to speed. All right, that's the spirit. 
And then in 2010, Sega released Sega Racing Classic, which was basically... I was going to say, is it could would be safe to call it a remaster of Daytona USA, this game. With widescreen updated graphics, but the, the idea was to try and keep it as close to the original as possible. And then, hey, they edged me into the wall there. Bastards. And then I think it was also in 2010 that Sega also released the Daytona USA games for PS3 and Xbox 360, which, from the sounds of Digital Foundry, was the closest they ever got to, you know, releasing the arcade game for a home console. Ah, screw it. Let's just park it. We'll try it again. Two, one, Angle Arriba Arriba. And I've lost already. Uh, no, the at one is from, if you ever go and watch, the very first Mexico City NASCAR race, then uh, that was when Fox I, had the Nationwide Series. I think it was it might have still been the Bush Series back then. But they did an early season race at Mexico City at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez. And what ended up happening was, uh, for my, for my European audience, for my non-NASCAR watching audience, the NASCAR races on Fox are commentated by Mike Joy, a co-commentator, and Daryl Waltrip, it's a tree man booth. And Daryl is the one that calls the green flag for the race, but he goes... You know, he doesn't say green flag. He goes, boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys. So he goes to Mexico, and he asks, you know, what's the Spanish for boogity, boogity, boogity? And someone had told him, angle, arriba, arriba. Angle, angle, arriba, arriba. I don't think, I don't think he'd be allowed to try and say angle, arriba, arriba nowadays. I'm sure they would somehow say, you know, something about how Speedy Gonzales is cultural appropriation or something like that, you know? We are not doing so hot. That's it's getting annoying. Now, we've lost this one as well. All right, so some corrections from earlier. Daytona USA for Xbox 360 and PS3 came out in 2011. And then there was a Daytona USA 3 that came out in 2017, actually. So they're still making and releasing new Daytona USA arcade games. Even, you know, two decades after the original one, this original one came out. That they're still coming out with Daytona USA games because, you know, Sega realizes this is one of the all-time great racing games. Don't get me wrong. Just because, you know, it's not a sim. You know, I, I've been accused of being far too casual a racing game player in the past. But... You know, there's nothing wrong with taking a game like this, playing it and realizing, yeah, for the time it was like probably like in 1993-94, yeah, this might have been the best racing game on the market. You know, now maybe, maybe it's got a bit more competition, but it's still one of the great all-time racing games. We just, we just did a carbon copy of our last lap time. I mean, it's down to the hundredth, but that's. That's pretty good. We're still half a straight behind the leader. Oh, I just held on to that one. That was some concentration. Going to top 10. Oh, just hold on to it down the back straight. That's tricky because uh, the faster you go, 
the harder the car gets to control. I mean, it should be that way, right? 68. And we're just beating and banging. Ah, oh, you. Get the lapped cars out of the way. Get the spinning cars out of the way, Jesus. White flag is out. This is the final lap. And now we're on the final lap. Get by the 69. You're allowed to chuckle at that. Yeah. Well, we held on to the top five. That's not bad. Congratulations, you placed fifth. Man, he, he he struggled to get that fifth out, didn't he? Now list your name with the other champion. But at least I got the best time, so that's sounds like the way he says it. It's like. U-N-S, it's like the worst attempt at a USA chant ever. So, let's just, let's go to, where do we have a half a prayer? Advanced. Oh, it's not intermediate, it's advanced. Just to close out. Gentlemen, start your engine. So, let's... Uh, no, I don't think there's a good way to get the start. But I still like that we still got the Daytona USA theme playing. Is there a more iconic theme song for a video game than Daytona USA's Let's Go Away? Like, I, I'm inclined to say probably not. It's one of my favorite... It's... Oh, we've crashed! Alright, well, I don't think we're going to do a very good job in this race. And we, we completely bollocks that car up. You know, if... NASCAR called up Sega and said, can we have a Daytona USA-like? Just with NASCAR branding on it. You know, pick your car. They, they got 40 cars in NASCAR now anyway. That's how much you run at a cup race. What? I have no idea what the hell happened there, but it was a... That was ugly. But the, uh, yeah, they, they put out a NASCAR game that looked like this, you know? Or played like this. Especially played like this. Even if you got rid of the, the time clock at the top. I'll bet you that would be hella popular. Because NASCAR hasn't had, like, a great video game in probably 15 years. With NASCAR Racing 2003 se season by Papyrus. I know it was a sim, but I never found it particularly difficult. I found it, to be honest, a lot easier to drive than last year's NASCAR Heat 2. Though not nearly as, you know, easy and or intuitive to drive as... Oh, man. I'm just struggling here. That's pit. We just need to take a break in the pits. Still got my time extension, but the time stopped at the top. They fixed my car. I've seen better pit stops, boys. But hey, they cleaned up my car. That's nice. But I think this is going to be the end of the video here. At least we got a top five at Daytona in the beginner track. So I think that is all that... Well, yeah, that's all the time we're going to have for this race, so... I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me yet again as we go through another classic game. Like the video. If, oh, time extension. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is unsilent on air, and that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget you can check out more racing games in various playlists. They're on the screen in the description down below. And more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. And we will see you next time.